Hey guys, welcome back to the Artverse. I'm Lacey and today we're going to have a little mini art lesson. In today's video, we're going to be going over some colour theory. So we're going to be looking into primary, secondary and tertiary colours. Please keep in mind guys that this is a lesson for beginning artists. However, if you would like to join us, please do so. Alright, let's get started shall we? Okay guys, so let's start off with talking about primary colours. So the primary colours are red, blue and yellow. So in traditional colour theory, when you're using paints and pigments, primary colours are the three pigmental colours or hues that cannot be mixed or formed by any other combination of colours. Any other colour though that is derived comes from these hues. Next, how about we look at secondary colours shall we? So when you're mixing your secondary colours, these colours can be formed or mixed when using your primary colours. So if I use blue and yellow, I'm going to get green. If I use red and blue, I'm going to get purple. And lastly, if I use yellow and red, I'm going to get orange. Okay guys, so let's look at tertiary colours now. These colours are yellow orange, red orange, blue purple, blue green and yellow green. These colours are created through the combination of primary and secondary colours, hence why the hue has been given a double worded name. Okay guys, so that's our colour theory lesson wrapped up. Welcome back guys. Hopefully you've learned a little bit from this video and a little bit about colour theory and the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary colours. If you enjoyed that video or found it helpful in any way guys, please click that like button, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notifications button so you can see more from me. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll catch you next time, bye! <laughs>